what makes someone a lead? Because for the people that are listening, like what what makes someone like, okay, you are lead material because I've seen a lot of folks in the business that it's like they're trying to fit a square peg in a round hole the entire career. If they would accept that they're, they're, they're uh, supporting, they probably would have taken off. But they insist that they are lead and not hear anything other than that. I'm lead. I'm not a character actor. I'm not a sidekick. I'm a lead. And you'll never, they never get anywhere. What makes someone, I want you to tell, what makes someone a lead that can be strong enough to carry a project? Yes, that <laughs> You just said it. Yes. Strong enough to carry. You have to be strong enough to carry and really strong enough to lead because you set the tone. You literally set the tone. And what, in terms of characteristics, it's, it's of course the acting and the performances. Yes, but then there's also a level of graciousness. There's, there's uh, integrity. There, there is a lot that goes into it in mm -hmm. terms of leading. And for some, and I've noticed, they want to lead means ego. They see me and they see me first and they see me only and they just see me. And I share with them all the time. We talk about it, have conversations about it. I'm like, every time you see Stanley Tucci, he's brilliant. Like you see him, he's br He's not a lead. Yes. Brilliant. Wow. So that, those are the things you really need to think about. Who are they putting in front of you and who's also holding up your performance with their performance? Yes. And you have to be a giving person. There's a lot that goes with being a lead. So we all know about people that are divas, difficult to work with, obnoxious, make the set uncomfortable. But there are people, unfortunately, that, ha that are, behave like that, that are extremely talented. <laughs> How much does that weigh in your decision to cast someone? Because you have to spend 12, 14 hours with this person. And, you know, back in the day, it seems like people could get away with that. Are people more replaceable now or do you just deal with it like you know what this person's great they're a complete ass I can't stand them but we're gonna work with them anyways or does that weigh in does that figure into the decision to to work with that person it does um it, I mean sometimes it's just on the life is too short list oh um, my right there are people who are oh, she froze again Did she freeze again crap Wait, say that again. There are people. You froze. You gotta hear what you said. You were saying there were people that what? Bring that back around. Oh my internet. Um, I said that there are people who are brilliant, but they are just difficult and fall on the life is too short list. And there are lots of decisions that go into you know um, making choices. And so those things do. I mean, I've been in situations where the thought about a person is that is lovely and wonderful and beautiful and sweet and this and that. You know? And the life is too short list happens. I think that's uh, what she was saying. Are you still didn't hear me? The last part froze. Last part. The life is too short. Yep. The life and, is too and short. That, and, that, and that means that it's too short, short to list. deal with their attitude. Is that what that the yes, life yes. is? The life is too short to deal with their And it's a general, sometimes it's a general consensus. You come into the meeting with your lists of the people who fit that criteria, the age range or, uh, or the ethnicity or what have you. And you, you have a, sometimes a long list, sometimes short list. Mm -hmm. And then you go through the list and it becomes a, mm, oh, ah. And can then, someone uh, redeem themselves though? Like say they were difficult to work with one time. Is there anything they can do if they come through your doors to cat to audition again? Can they change that perspective? Or is it like, once you've established that's where you are, is that it? Is it a wrap? Cause are, can people really ruin their careers? with a bad attitude? Of course, everybody can ruin anything with a bad attitude. You see some people that are super famous and successful that are assholes and bitches and you're like, how is this person still work? I'm not gonna say no names, but y'all yeah, know they're out there. And I'll be wondering how do they keep getting through? And then there are those people, can you hear me? There yes. are those people who have bad attitudes and they're still out there, but they're not working nearly as much as they could or yes. should. True. Okay. People that are really just brilliant, but they, they let themselves get in the way. Yeah. Right. Okay. You know, I won't say any names. Look at Twinkie. Twinkie want to drop names bad. I could tell. I can. Oh, I'll, I'll tell y'all a quick story before I get to your que uh, a question from the viewers about the Clark sister Twinkie. I was a host of Miss Universe pageant 2009 and I can just tell the story now, whatever. Trump can get mad at me if he wants to. Russia was like 
leading the top 10. Like she was gonna win, she could have won. She was like, she went through preliminaries first place. She was such, I heard their words, a bitch that they took her, she didn't even get into the top 10. She'll never even know that she was this close. She could have been Miss Universe because mm-hmm. of her attitude because they couldn't fathom working with this person for a whole year in yeah. close proximity with her and dealing with their attitude. I, I just want people that are watching this to just consider, reconsider any thoughts of being difficult because like it's no fun for everybody else on set and you may book that one gig but then you may never work with those people ever again and that whole diva thing that you think you have to do to put an air about yourself to be a star is played out I think that's right like we're not doing that anymore oh, right played out could you just get the four agreements and apply it to your life please thank, thank you, you so much, much. <laughs>